Hello everyone. Today we are going to introduce our construction management software here. This is an online cloud-based software. We will get this software in your browser. After entering the URL, you will enter the ID and password here. So now I am going to enter the ID. So after entering the ID, enter the password here. So after entering the password, we will submit this. After submission, we will get a new dashboard here. So here we can see all the modules. So first of all, we are going to our project section. So in this section, we have an option to add your unlimited project. So in project section, we have another sub options. This is for adding your new project. And the second one is for uh, viewing your all ongoing projects here. The third one is for viewing your all completed projects. This all are about our project section. So after the project section, here we can see subcontract work. This option is mainly for updating your subcontract activities and payments. So after subcontract works, here we can see asset section. This is for adding your assets and security deposit here. So after accounting section, we will move to another section. This is account section. So in account section, we will manage here both bank accounts and also cash account here. So in account manage, Meant you have sub options like account head and ledger, account transferring, creditors and debitors list, etc. So, after account management, we will go into another option that is client payments. So, in client payments, we will add in your client payments. So, after client payments, we will go into another option that is other income receipts. This is mainly for adding your other incomes. So, after other income receipts, we will go into another option that is user payments. So in user payment is mainly used for your uh, admin staffs to manage their supervisors and the subcontractors petty cash. So after user payments, we will go into purchase section here. So in purchase section, we have another sub option. First one is for create your purchase request formation. And the second one is purchase order formation and the third one is purchase bill so the last option is stock management in stock management we have another options like stock registering option stock transferring option stock locations and the last one is consumption so these all are about stock management so after stock management we will go into another option expenses so here we can manage your office expense and also work expense so after expense, we will going to labor management. So here we can labor management option. So in labor management, we will manage your labors, payments, activities, attendance, etc. So this all are about labor management. So another option is vehicle management. So in this option, we will manage your vehicles or transportation details here. So after vehicle management, here we can see another option, HR management or HR option. So here, here we can sub option. The first option is mainly used for create your employee profile. And after employees, we can see you have an another option to uh, salary slip and advance payment formation. So these are our about HR management. So after HR management, here we can see tools management. This is mainly used for manage your tools. Here you have sub options. This is for adding your tools and equipments. And this is for adding your tools rental payments, tools transferring options, conception and payment option for tools. These all are about tools management. So after tools, we are going to another option. So this is travel allowance. This is mainly used for adding your travel elements. So after this travel elements, we are going to other option. This is other modules. The first option is project documentation. Here we will upload your project document size wise. 
so after project documents you have an option to update your daily tasks and activities of your supervisor or site engineers so after this we have a, another option for updating your daily notes so these all are about other modules so after other module modules we will go into report section so here we have an option to uh, daily labor and subcontract report formation daily attendance report and finally report section so in daily labor and subcontract report you have an option to update your laborers and subcontractors work details and uh, activity reports etc so here daily attendance report so in report section you have another options this is mainly used for income and expense report formation and the second one is daily transaction report third one is day book and fourth one is trial balance here you have an option to project task report uh, this is for purchase report and this option is for project day book and the last final one is labor attendance report these all are about report section so after report we will move to another option user accounts so in user accounts we will see two options users and leave application this users is mainly used to for create your user profiles and leave application is mainly used to for means approve or reject your supervisor's leave application so after this user accounts we will going to data management here you have see another options like client suppliers material management work types work categories project sections etc this is for adding your clients uh, means this is for uh, supplies material management work types etc these all are mainly for manage your data this is for client data and this is for suppliers material management work types etc so after data management here we can see two other options reminder option so this is for leave application reminder and this is daily note this is for reminder or notification pop up here we can pop up notifications so this are all, all are about our software thank you